Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to go through and I will walk you through how to watermark your photos. So let's get started. First of all, open up your Lightroom mobile. And right now I already have a photo that I've selected in my Lightroom, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we have it open in Lightroom. So we assume that we've processed our photo, we have edited it, and we're ready to export it. So in order to export it and get into your watermarking tool, we need to go up to our message box up here and click on your message box. And what this does, this actually opens up your next window where you will go down to the very bottom of your window and you will go ahead and open up your export as icon down here at the bottom. And when your export as window opens up, you have some functions here and settings that um, are already preset. And then if you go to the bottom here, you can see you have your include watermark. So if you've never used your watermark tool before, you're going to see that it's basically disabled, which is designated by this black button right here. So when I tap on this button, I can enable it or disable it. So if I tap on this button, and when it turns blue and the button moves over to the right, it's basically enabled. So once my watermark tool is enabled, it allows me to go and customize my text and my watermark name. So if we go to our next line, which, are, which is your customize, go ahead and go to your enable check over to the right of your custom. And what happens, this next window opens up, which gives you uh, some tools and settings for your text. So right now, if you look at the top up here, you or see we're in the text mode. You do have some options if you tap on the graphics. You can actually import a graphics here. We're not going to do that right now. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and choose the text mode and we're going to add our custom text. And for your watermarking for this class, all I want is your first letter of your initial and your last name. So as you can see right now, I have listed my professional business name and this is my professional watermark and credit that I use for doing business, which is Moya Photographics. What's nice about um, Lightroom Mobile, it comes with this copyright trademark. So once you're in the text mode, go ahead and click on this window. What happens now, This your keyboard opens up down here in the bottom. And what I'm going to do is, again, I want you to go ahead, I'm going to clear this, you're going to type in your initial of your first name, so since my first name is Mike, I'm gonna type in capital M for Mike. Then your last name, which would be a capital M-O-Y-A. And that's all you should need. Now some of you might wanna put photo by or some other uh, label, but for this class, keep it simple because you don't want your um, watermark to be very long. So I'm gonna go and change this back down to my commercial photo credit, which is Moya Photographics. And this is the way I spell my business name, Moya Photographics. So once that's selected, hit done down here at the bottom. Now, what happens once you've inputted your text, you have some options now to kind of stylize your text. So first thing you want to do is make sure you have uh, your font size on your text. You don't want it too large and you don't want it too big. I find that 10, which is listed right now, is a very good font size. So if I take my slider here and watch what happens when I move it over to the right, I make it real big. I can shrink it down real small. You don't want it too big, so it's distracting. You don't want it too small, so you can't read it. So I find that 10 is pretty good. So we'll go back to 10. 
and you can see my actual font size is 10. Now in the past I keep it at 50%. So you can see if we take the slider and go all the way over to the right, like I'm going to keep it at this 100% opacity so you can kind of watch my label or my credit as I move it around. So the next two adjustment sliders are real important because those are going to position your name on your photo. I like my name in the far left corner because normally when people look at your photo, traditionally they subconsciously go from left to right. And right now I have my horizontal slider at three. You can see if I move it over to the right, I can put it in the center, I can put it over to the right. Um, I like again over to the very far left. And so um, right now I had it at three. This is at five. I think I'm going to I'm going to go back to three because I don't want it too much into my picture. You want it spaced just enough so that when you crop it or if you go to print. It doesn't get crept off because sometimes that does happen when you get your images resized you may crop the bottom corner and again my vertical adjustment is at three and I find this is a good position for most of my credits now if I'm doing something that needs specific crop or size I'll make sure that I adjust this position but this is pretty much where my watermark always lands on my image. Once it's done, again, you want to go up to the top of your window up here at the very top left. And then again, this little check mark is basically your enabling check mark for, again, saving your functions and going into your next window. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my enable check mark. Now you go back to your export as window and again all your settings are going to be preset in here. Again uh, your watermark set is customized and we can go into more options but again we don't need to go into any more options. All, all, all our settings in our watermark is set so what we want to do is go up to our acceptance check mark up here at the very top right. Go ahead and enable your check mark. What that does is it saves and loads all this information. And you can see now my file size, which shows in my window, you can see I have my file name. And if I were to open this up, I'd be able to see my watermark on the lower left. So once that's enabled and opens up in this window, you want to go and basically you're going to mail it back to your desktop or wherever and go ahead and download these to your canvas. So that's it. And again, um, go and practice this a few times. This is going to be part of your assignment for this Friday and for all your assignments for the rest of the semester. So I shall see you guys later this week.